Hello everybody, James here. Today I've got a video about um, cleaning models. Um, so the common context is um, I just messed up a um, prime. Um, I sprayed some uh, white uh, spray paint and unfortunately it was too cold and it all cracked up and it's all very very bad. Um, so I, I got this in today. Um, this is a um, Veloxo, I think that's how you say it, and it is a Sonic, Sonic cleaner. It costed, um, I think it was somewhere around £40 on Amazon. I've um, tried it with a, quite a few models now. Um, and I'm going to give you the best scenario that you will actually have, which is you've just put a, um, a primer on it and it's gone bad and you need to um, wipe and start again. Okay, now this is different than trying to clean a model that has been um, like finished. It's either the paint is months old and it's had time to settle into the, uh, the plastic or it is a completed model. Those will take far longer, as I have already um, checked out. Um, to give you an idea on that, um, this here was um, sprayed in a metallic silver, um, nothing else, but it was on there for several weeks. Um, this has actually been probably about 45 minutes inside there. Um, and it's it's about as, as good as I can get this um, and the best way to describe it is stained um, it is um, you, you can certainly see the grey plastic underneath but um, no matter what I do I just can't seem to get the rest of the, met of the metallic out um, so yeah however the um, the details, which is what's important, are still here, and um, I can reprime this. So I'm going to test it now with these guys. So these are my squad of cast terminators. We're just going to dunk them in. I'm going to put a couple in there. I'm going to get another one, maybe. Yeah, there we go. That is going to turn on. Now this, this is a three minute timer and I am using Bartoline Clean Spirit. Um, now I'm using this because it is, um, an well it says it on it, a safer alternative to white spirit which is uh, commonly used to clear up paint on things like brushes. Um, but um, it is uh, readily biodegradable, non flammable and non-toxic. However, that doesn't mean that you really should be doing this with, um, without gloves. So I'm just going to quickly um, go out, rinse my hands and then I will be back. back, I've got a glove, there we go, gloved up. Now over time, um, if you're doing this for um, quite a few sessions of, um, of three minutes, the water is actually going to get me hot. Um, because what's happening is you're vibrating it um, at what I think it's something like 40, 
5,000 times a second or something stupid like, like that. So it, it does get hot, it does warm up. Uh, not long now. So, um, though obviously very in different sizes of these, um, this is the cheap option because I simply wanted to try it out. But I would actually recommend something of the one litre and higher variant. Um, the best I could do was actually put in a demon print, but not all at once. I could do like the wings could just go in, um, and then the, the legs, and then you can do the arms and, and arms, uh, the arms separately. And um, a couple of um, sessions for each of those parts. Um, this completely clean right so it's now done let's open it back up again there we go and um if you um, basically make sure everything is, is dunked, so you see that white bit, that's a nice big line, right, that's because it didn't fully go under, and the same here, so just move them about a bit, and then one more time, and that would be fully clear, very, very easy way of, um, of fixing a mistake. This is one I did literally um, right before I started this. Um, this is a bad on, similar sort of issue. Um, I'm actually just going to go rinse this guy off now in the sink. Um, that is actually fine to do as I said because it is um, biodegradable, non-toxic, non-flammable. So. Um, it should be able to go down the sink, no problem. And, uh, right. Even this is probably enough. So I've got 15 seconds of this recording, so let's just stop it. Let's see what it's like. There we go. Yeah. One. Two. 